time tea time if you're new to my channel my name is Candace if you haven't already please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload okay so let's get into it we are talking about Miss Lonnie Love again once again Lonnie Love is being very controversial and everybody talking about it I feel like I'm doing a Lonnie Love video every other video I'm not picking on her she's saying and doing these things it's not me it's you but anyways y'all a few days ago I'm sure you guys saw the controversial comments that Lonnie Love made about black men and cheating. Where Lonnie Love used slavery as a reason of why some or most black men cheat. And after she made those comments, there was a panel of black men that got together and they said how they feel about it. And now Lonnie Love is beefing with the panel of black men. It's a lot. Tell Lonnie Love that all the black men she's been with cheated on her because her attitude is crap and her body is disgusting. Don't worry, y'all know I'm gonna explain everything, but for those of y'all that missed it, I want y'all to hear exactly what Lonnie Love said, and then we're gonna get into the panel of black men and Lonnie Love being mad at them and clapping back and all of that. Check this out and then I'm coming back with some more. I think also in the black community, I'm gonna, you know, I don't speak for the black community, but I do think that a lot of black men, they really don't know how to have true, faithful relationships. They think because they have money, because they have power, that they can treat women any kind of way. Lonnie Love is saying things. And that is something we need to work on. We need to work on uh, that, that money and power does not mean that you I can guess. just do whatever you want to do. I think sadly in so many cultures, that is the whole yes. machismo thing, like yes. that is, that yes. goes across the board, but I, I'm gonna no, say. it's not across the board because what is happening is that we are still dealing with the point of uh, slavery and we are descendants of slavery mm -hmm. and because our families were broken up we still do not have an idea of what how to have together families because our families were broken up okay so y'all heard that Lonnie Love feels like slavery contributes to why black men cheat and her words were most black men her words not mine that's how she feels I completely disagree men cheat all men of all races cheat for their own reasons so basically I feel like it's absolutely ridiculous for Lonnie Love to single out black men and say that they don't know how to have true faithful relationships. And then to blame it on slavery I also think is ridiculous because if you're gonna say that black men cheat because of slavery breaking up the homes, then how can you not mention the white slave masters who cheated on their white wives and raped black women within that same conversation that proves that white men and black men cheat. White men cheating on their wives raping slaves and from Lonnie's knowledge it affects the black men because their homes are broken up so now they don't know how to be faithful according to Lonnie she said that not me I just feel like if you're gonna start that conversation about slavery you have to mention the white slave masters as well don't just single out the black men the perception of black men is already being torn down in the news and on social media so why contribute to that Lonnie that's my thing all races of men and women cheat human beings cheat because they want to it's a choice that's my opinion now let me go forward and tell y'all what had happened like I mentioned you guys Lonnie Love made these statements last week however there's a lot of people still discussing it and over the last couple of days Lonnie Love has been clapping back at a specific group of men who discussed this topic a topic that Lonnie Love started so Lonnie Love was on her Instagram last night clapping back at the Isaiah Uncensored show she did not like that episode where they were discussing her she didn't like the way they did it and she didn't like the things that they were saying she felt like they were attacking her on the episode the group of men discussed the issue the same way I did the same way that everybody else did however the way that the episode started was definitely disrespectful one of the men on the panel Dennis Sperling he basically said that black men cheated on Lonnie Love because of the way that she looks and he said that she looks disgusting that is body shaming that is disrespectful so that's what Lonnie Love claimed back at first she didn't like that statement and she didn't like the whole episode in general she felt like she was being attacked not only was Lonnie Love upset about the things that the men were saying about her she also felt like there should have been a panel of women even though her show is a panel of women that started the conversation but anyway she said to Isaiah that he should have a panel of women so then he did have a panel of women but then Lonnie Love was upset because the panel of women weren't black 
it's a mess. I'm gonna string it all together so that you guys can see and hear exactly what happened. And then I'm coming back with some more. And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Let's be real, some men and women cheat. And according to Lonnie Love, black men can't help it. And I'm not gonna allow that false narrative to be pushed upon black men. When the truth to the matter is men in general just make poor choices and cheating is a poor choice. That was Charlemagne the God sharing his opinion. We've got some guys here ready to share their opinions as well. Rapper, legendary rapper Willie D from the Ghetto Boys, Jay the Great, Dennis Sperling, and Sebastian Moore. Now, Dennis, let's start with you. Yeah. Your post today caught my attention, or it was yesterday, but you posted, tell Lonnie Love that all that all the black men she's been with cheated on her because her attitude is crap and her body is disgusting. Well, I would like to add that her <laughs> attitude is also disgusting. When you... Is that rough, though? No, it's not rough. Because if you understand what she's doing, is she's making it difficult for men like me and these other gentlemen on this panel. When you perpetuate those stereotypes and you put that out there, it makes it impossible for a person like Tamir Rice or, uh, or the young boy that was shot down in Florida to be seen as a victim because they're perceived as thugs. They're perceived as not loyal. They're perceived as criminals. So when I'm addressing the jury, I can't change their attitudes. I can't change their beliefs. And their, if their beliefs come from somebody who is supposed to know us as well as our mothers, then it's impossible for me to do that. And now we all, anyone with common sense understands the point of why she would say that. She would say that to drive women who are non-black away from us. It's no different than in World War II when the white GIs in France would tell the, the local French women, oh, those black GIs, they have tails. Leave them alone. And what that does is it forces them, it forces the men to say, well, you know, they have to substantiate that, but then they also Scare, it scares those women right. away from them. We, we understand that. Let's bring you into this conversation. Is there any validity to what Lonnie Love said? <laughs> First of all, black men cheat for the same reason all men cheat, because they want to, all right? But let's just say that Lonnie Love was correct in her assessment of black men in regards to cheating. Even if that was true, she was remiss in omitting that it was white men who looked like her white husband who forced us into slavery in the first place and caused all this traumatic experience. It was white men who implemented welfare and mandated that our women kick our men out of the house so that that man couldn't provide for his children, so he couldn't be there to raise his children and rear his children. So she was remiss in not uh, not, not uh, covering that part, but she had to because she was given orders to make black men look bad. Now, the thing about Lonnie Love and people like her, like the Candace Owens and people like that, their job is to put a hit on black men. That's their job. Yeah. The people who stroke their checks can't do it because they'll come off as the racist who they are. So they hire people that look like her to do the job for them. Now that comment did not sit well with Lonnie, so she responded by posting this to Instagram today. So I posted that Isaiah Factor men's defense panel. First of all, stick to the topic, okay? The topic is how slavery affected a black family. And I said some black men cheat, not all black men cheat. Isaiah, you better than this. Stop body shaming me with your little panel of men and stop talking about me and talk about the topic. Also, have a panel of women on and get their feelings about it, okay? Since everybody but hurt. Okay, so you guys saw that? Now, I really suggest that you guys go to the Fox Soul YouTube channel so that you can watch the full episode. I couldn't put the full episode in. I only put in the clips that Lonnie Love was responding to. There's two other men on that panel who told their opinion and I really think you guys should go watch it. So yeah, you guys saw Lonnie Love responded by basically saying don't body shame me and she didn't like the fact that it was a panel of men so she said there should be a panel of women. So Isaiah actually came through and did exactly what Lonnie Love asked. But then Lonnie Love did not like that there wasn't a panel of black women. Last night Lonnie Love wrote this. She said it's interesting that you could find a whole panel of black men to bash me but the panel of women was mixed. Thanks for trying, at Isaiah Carey Fox 26. 
So as you can see, she feels like since he started with a panel of black men, he should have had a panel of black women. That's how Lonnie feels. And in my opinion, there didn't need to be a panel of black women, number one, because she already had her panel of mixed race women on her show. And the topic was black men cheating. Not black men cheating on black women. Black men date all types of women. So I feel that that's why Isaiah had a mixed group of women. I don't wanna disrespect anybody and say the wrong race, but it looks like there was an Asian woman, a Hispanic woman, a white woman, and a black woman or a biracial woman. And for those of y'all who probably wanted to debate about their race in the comments section, let's go to their Instagram accounts real quick. This is Maggie, and I think she represents for the Asian women. This is Lala, and I think she represents for the Hispanic women. I couldn't find her Instagram account, but she looks like a white woman. And then there's Jillian Simmons, and I believe that she represents for the black women. Maybe she's biracial, I don't know, but I do believe she represents for the black woman. I went through her Instagram account, Here's her daughter, she's black. Biracial, black, however you wanna say it. In my opinion, I think Lonnie Love didn't like the fact that there wasn't a dark skinned woman maybe. Cause y'all know how she feel about mixed race women. Said that you she, just said that she was white. She, she ain't all the way black, is she? We not about to go down that road, but y'all know how Lonnie Love feels. So maybe she doesn't consider Jillian to be black. I don't know. Anyways, the gag is, I feel like Lonnie Love probably didn't even watch the episode that the women were on because she's focusing on the fact that it's a panel of mixed race women. When girl, when you watch the episode, half of the panel took up for you. And the black woman or mixed race woman, Jillian, was one of those who took up for her. And the Asian woman took up for her. They were all actually very fair. Some black men cheat as a result of slavery. I love her and you know, that's her opinion. And in my opinion, yeah, you know, all races, all genders cheat. Regardless, every man that has got that in there, you know, to cheat, um, a lot of it has to do with them wanting attention. So they... Based on someone's experience, I would not judge somebody if they said, hey, all I have dated is black men all my life. Mm -hmm. And if I've dated, I don't know, 20 black men and all of them have cheated, then that's your experience. And I can see why you would say all black men cheat. And I, in a sense, I do agree with Lonnie. Um, and at the same rate, I am really disappointed in how they responded to her. Like I said, I don't even think Lonnie Love watched the episode. Otherwise, she wouldn't even have brought up the fact that the women weren't black. The obvious reason about why there was a panel of black men is because she specified that black men are incapable of having good relationships healthy, faithful relationships. So the panel of black men spoke on it. And the reason that the women were diverse is because black men date all types of women. You asked for a panel of women. Black men cheat on women. There was no need for there to be an all black women panel. Oh, Lonnie. Anyways, the last part that I want to discuss is that Willie D from the panel of black men, he clapped back to Lonnie's clap back. And I'm really interested to know what y'all think about it. Check this out and then I'm coming back with some more. So that Isaiah Factor men's defense panel, first of all, stick to the topic, okay? The topic is how slavery affected the black family. And I said some black men cheat, not all black men cheat. Isaiah, you better than this. Stop body shaming me with your little panel of men and stop talking about me and talk about the topic. Also, have a panel of women on and get their feelings about it, okay? Since everybody butt hurt. And I ain't married to James. I'm single. And ain't nobody tell me, no white people told me this is part of the, y'all crazy. Stop it. Isaiah, you better than this. What's up, family? Lonnie Love, a co-host on The Real Talk Show, fixed her mouth to say, a lot of black men don't know how to have true faithful relationships because of slavery. After she promptly got dragged all over social media and beyond, she turned off her comments like a coward. She later posted a video on her IG stories criticizing an all-male black panel that was on the Isaiah Factor to discuss her comments. I participated in that panel that she called a little panel of men. You see, that comment right there is indicative of her arrogance. And she will get her in moment. I can guarantee you it's coming. 
It's okay to disagree with every single man that was on that panel. But to be dismissive as if somehow you're superior or their feelings doesn't matter speaks volume as to what type of person she is and how brainwashed and tone deaf she is. So let me give it another shot and talk directly to you, Lonnie Love. In your little video, you told Isaiah, first of all, stick to the topic, how slavery affected the black community. First of all, that was not the topic. The topic of discussion was Joe Budden's excuses for Kevin Hart's cheating. You're the one who went out of your way to make cheating exclusive to the black man. You're a comedian, so I'm sure you can appreciate this. It's funny how you failed to mention that it was your white boyfriend's ancestors who cheated on their white wives and girlfriends with black women and girls and boys and men during slavery. <laughs> you talked about being body shamed. Perhaps you were. But you put yourself out there. You wanted smoke, you got it. Understand this, when people come under attack, they have the right to use whatever weapon at their disposal to get you off of them. You're dealing with your body being shamed. Black men every day are dealing with our character being shamed. You said, no white people told you to say anything. Come on, Lonnie. You ain't the only one playing the game. Candace Owen, Stephen A., Charles Barkley. When you're black and willing to throw your own people under the bus for a bag, you can say anything and get away with it. When your check is being stroked by white folks, as long as it don't cost them no money. Now you really want to impress me and show me how real you are. Make a sweeping negative generalization about white men or white women and be serious. And watch how fast they get rid of your ass. Now, even though you made a sweeping generalization of black men I'm not going to do that to black women, even though I believe that you are a miserable, self-loathing, angry black woman. I am not going to throw all of those good black women under the bus. To do so would make it harder for the black women that I love to navigate in an already by a society that perpetuates negative stereotypes of black women and girls. Okay, so y'all heard that Willie D had a mouthful to say, okay? I don't know if Lonnie Love is gonna clap back to his clap back, clapping back at her clap back. I don't know if it's gonna go any further than this. I hope it doesn't. Cause at this point, it seems like Lonnie Love is being super controversial on purpose. I'm just gonna be honest. It seems like maybe she was told to be super controversial. Maybe they're trying to get the ratings up on the real. I don't know. But I just feel like if she's gonna be super controversial, she needs to be ready for everybody to have an opinion about it. I'm just saying. But all right, y'all, I'm done with this and I wanna know what y'all think. What do you guys think about Lonnie Love versus the panel of men on the Isaiah Uncensored show? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, all right? Bye. Oh.